Uber and taxi fire drivers are on strike at Zulake and Germiston today. Now the drivers are calling for changes in prices, safety, insurance for the drivers, open channels of communication with the owners and regulation that sees the app-based transportation company working similarly to meter taxis. Uber and Taxify have been marred by violent incidents, including fatal attacks. They are expected to hand over memorandum to the Uber and Taxify bosses. The drivers claim the bosses have neglected to respond to the memorandum submitted last month. Police and the JMPD are currently monitoring the protest. The gathering that you see right behind me here is for the dissatisfaction of the drivers and owners, uh, the way uh, we are treated by Uber and Taxify. That's the reason why we are gathered here after consultation for such a long time uh, that we've been trying to engage with them, but they've been actually keeping us out of our, our partnership. Uh, we have tried in a number of times to, uh, to actually meet the men in charge of these, uh, uh, the different men that are in charge of these uh, apps here. And in actual fact, they're actually closing doors behind us. They don't have an open door policy for us. And we have actually, we have had a chance to go there and submit our first memorandum. Uh, right now, as we speak, this is the second memorandum after we are not satisfied with their uh, uh, response. And at this moment, our reporter Kolofelo Silajile joins us live now from Santon for more details on that story. A very good afternoon to you, Kolo. Thank you so much for your time and for joining us. Now, we do know that uh, both your riding app drivers, Ubers and Taxify, that is, are currently staging a protest in Santon um, State, citing rather several grievances. Just talk us through the latest details on your site with regards to that protest action. Well, a very good day to you and our viewers at home. Of course, we are in Johannesburg, where the drivers of both Uber, where the drivers of both Uber and Taxify have just gathered outside the Uber offices here to hand in their memorandum of demands. And of course, this comes after multiple um, occasions in which they've tried to engage with the bosses of uh, the Uber with the of the app-based transportation models. And of course. Today, as we are gathered outside of the Uber offices, it doesn't seem like management is willing to meet with the drivers who have tabled a number of um, a number of demands on their memorandum. One of which is that uh, Uber and Taxify need to now start reconsidering and changing their prices because they simply say that it's not conducive for their lives. This, of course, comes after um, these um, uh, app-based transportation modes have been using the same pricing since 2014 or rather in the past four years um, of them existing within South Africa. Also on that particular memorandum is this notion that they believe that the apps are not doing, uh, the app-based uh, transportation models are not doing enough to ensure that the drivers are safe. So one of them is that the drivers be taken into consideration and that they don't face as much you know, hin um, as much uh, problems as they do on the roads because we've seen on a number of occasions how there have been a number of um, st uh, fights as well as people that have lost their lives as they've been just trying to go about doing their job. And the other thing on that particular me memorandum is this idea that there needs to be regulation of this particular uh, mode of transportation. Uh, this, of course, would take on the likes of, you know, what meter taxis uh, seem to be using in order to be regulated. And now they've been outside of the Uber offices for quite a while now, about two hours or so. Management does not seem to want to come out and engage uh, the drivers as well as the owners of some of uh, the Uber, uh, some of the Taxify and Uber, uh, Uber vehicles. And now what we've seen um, is that uh, for once we're actually quite seeing uh, quite a unified sense in terms of both Taxify and Uber drivers having a common goal and really just trying to have both managers of these apps uh, engage them and open uh, communication channels to ensure that they can reach a point where there's an amicable solution that will address many of the topical issues that I have just mentioned for you right now.